Hi, my name is Mrs. Thompson and I teach art introduction, drawing, painting, ceramics, and artistic metalsmithing at the high school. And I've been lucky enough to teach here for eight and a half years. And I'm excited to teach painting to you this year. In painting, we are going to be focusing the entire quarter on watercolor. I figured that would be the easiest form of material to take to and from school, so I'm excited that we get to dive into this together. When we're learning watercolor, we're gonna be learning about color theory and how to mix colors. You'll also be um, learning about art history, all of our history actually. We're gonna be starting back hundreds and hundreds of years ago, all the way up till modern day. And then um, along the way, learning amazing watercolor techniques and making some beautiful artwork. So I will be sending you guys home with packets of all the materials and watercolor paper that you will need for the quarter. And it is your job to take care of these materials. Any materials that are returned that are damaged or broken will need to be replaced by you monetarily or rebuy the materials yourself. Um, you will also need to come to class prepared. So please do not ever leave your project at home and your materials at home. I only get to see you guys two days during the week, so it's very imperative for grading that you bring your project to school. If you've had me before, you know that I do not grade you on your ability, but on your effort and improvement that you show in the work. So if you're not showing me the improvement that you're doing throughout the project, or if you're not bringing your project so I can help you improve, you may not do well in my class. So please be prepared by bringing your projects to school and your materials every day. And when you come to school and when you walk into my classroom, I do ask that you guys sanitize your hands upon entering and leaving. And you will also have to clean and sanitize your table after class. And I will have the materials for you to do so. And when you're in my classroom and or online, I want you to be positive. I know that art can be challenging and it may be more challenging this year that I won't be there with you physically every day to help you through it. But um, just be positive and be kind to yourself. We tend to be our own worst enemies and beat ourselves down by saying we're not good enough or I can't do this. And those are all limiting beliefs that will inhibit you from improving. So get those thoughts out of your mind and start telling yourself that you can do it. You just have to find the way that works best for you. And I want to be here to help you with that. So when those times um, are rough though, please don't swear. And that's another one of my rules. There's no swearing in my classroom um, or while you're working on your projects at home. So um, let's keep everything nice and pure. And lastly, there are no cell phones allowed in my classroom. The reason for that is because once again, I only see two days a week. I don't want there to be any distractions. So this includes listening devices. I will be playing music when appropriate in class and the music will be requested by you. However, other than that, there should be no listening devices or cell phones in my room. The first time you choose to have your cell phone out in my room, I will keep it for the rest of the class period. The second time you choose to have your cell phone out in my room, I will keep it for the rest of your school day. And the third time you choose to have your cell phone out in my room, I will be giving you an after school detention. So let's just not have it out and that would be great. Now, the other thing that you're gonna be needing to do is checking the daily agendas every day you come into class and every day you are home. The daily agendas will tell you where you will, um, or what assignments you will have to complete and whether or not you have to watch any tutorials, read through any handouts to help you complete the assignments. In every project that I give you, it will have its own folder. And in that folder, you will have a folder of assignments, notes, tutorials, and um, videos to watch. So any information that I say to do in the agenda, um, if it's pertaining to a particular project, go to that projects folder and that's where you're going to find the materials you need. And lastly, if you have any questions throughout the quarter, please know that you can email me at katherinethompson at jonamcclain.org or you can message me on Schoology. I look forward to teaching you and I can't wait to see what you create.